Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you see, I'm already prepped and ready, face done, and we're gonna be doing a following Manny MUA makeup tutorial. Now, Manny himself knows that he hasn't done a makeup tutorial in a while, but I found this one and it says bold and easy cut crease makeup. So this is the one we're gonna follow today. I'm gonna try to put it right here how everybody else is doing but I don't know if I know how to do that I'm not very good at editing yet but I'm gonna watch this and we're gonna follow along hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this eye look I have going on right now I posted a photo on my Instagram a while back and it's this photo floating right here and they got so much love on it like much more than a normal selfie of mine would so i'm like mm -hmm. and i literally had thousands of comments on the photos saying to film a tutorial on this so i figured i would film it for you guys i just really really love this look it's so easy to do it's really not that hard i swear to you it's not that hard one palette only modern renaissance and you can complete this look it's so freaking easy and i actually wore this when i went to the golden globes after party a little while back and i got so many compliments you just never know if the makeup's gonna be like mm -hmm. or like you know, so, How long yeah, is gonna always, be? Mm -hmm. oh, mm. me, don't we'll find out. Okay, we'll don't see. Like, don't watch the video. Just literally, I'm not forcing it down your throat. Just don't click on it. Great. <laughs> but you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and give it a like if I you am. want to. Subscribe. Like it. Like it. Right now. Go. Like it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this eye tutorial on this cut crease. <laughs> let's see if we can rock this out. <laughs> Let's go, Manny. So I had so many requests to do this tutorial. This is the first time I'm so I figured ever I following anybody's makeup. It's a really, really fun and not so hard eye look. Let's film this shit. I already have my base on. Let's so film really this on shit. Today. So we're going to go in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And that's what I've been using on my eyes. Recreated to Oops. a T. I'm hoping. I mean. I forget there's a brush in here. The exact same twice. You're never going to do the same makeup exactly twice. I don't know where so I went. So I'm just going to do what I can do. Got it. And we're going to do it with this. <laughs> okay, my eyes are already okay. red, by the way, and I wanted to zoom in as much as I possibly could without it being too sunny off. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go in with the shade burnt orange and a little bit we're of golden ochre. I'm just gonna literally uh, dab please. into both of them, dab into both of them, and we're gonna do a very light amount of this. I'm gonna decrease with a Morphe E27, a fluffy Morphe E27. Morphe E27. I'm gonna really try to avoid the lid at all costs right now because. The focus is going to be into the crease. Keeping your eyes open, like you can see color there. Make sure you're focusing all the color on the top of your crease or in your crease. If you have a better crease than me, because I have like all this little extra skin here. I probably don't. My crease, then you're oh, good. Yeah. But if you don't, if you have like hooded lids like me or just a little extra skin like me, not down there, then you should be good. These shadows blend so well. Oh, I love the Modern Renaissance palette. It's not even funny. We're going to go into Raw Sienna and mix in a little bit hold of... Hold on. Oh, hold on, Manny. Hold on. Hold on. I've only done one eye. Give me a second. Can we make this happen? Is it gonna turn out like panties? I don't know. Hopefully it will. If not, then this will be a fail. But like he said, trying not to get it on the lid. And we're just gonna put that above. Keep my eye open. Bam! A little bit lower okay. than we have. Okay, Rossiana, hold on. So we're going to put that in the outer corner into the crease. Outer about corner. About halfway into the crease. Really? Let me get a different brush. I'm going too fast. To avoid the Because that's where we're going to go kind of like start cutting. So majority of the color on the outer corner and into the crease. And a little bit in here. Just a little nugget. And then blend it out with the E27 just to make sure we get some... Nice smooth transition. So now, as you can see, there's like layering of colors. It's a little bit darker, it's a little bit deeper than this side. You can see there's more dimension. Okay, cool. So now that we have those colors deposited, as you can see, now we're going to take a little bit of the <laughs> red mix. I'm going too slow. Hold on. Manny, wait. I'm going to catch up right now. All right, all right. Come on. I feel like I'm going to mess this whole thing up girl what is happening oh my god Manny 
<laughs> that. Now we're gonna go into like what? Color fuchsia with. Like, I didn't even see that. Get some nice little transition. Okay. As you can see, there's like Let's go back. Colors. It's a little darker, it's a little deeper than this side. You can see there's more dimension. Now that we have those colors deposited, as you can see, now we're gonna take a little bit of Venetian red, mixing that okay. really bright, like plumish color fuchsia with cypress umber, which is a really, really dark, deep brown. Okay. And that's gonna go on the most outer corner of our eye. Okay, he looks like he's using a little pencil brush. Really Give me a second. I don't have that, but I'm gonna use this little brush right here. That one looks smaller. What can we do? Hmm. Okay. No, that is really shades. tiny. All right, so whatever. That looks deep as shit. Alright. And now we're gonna take that M433 and blend that out slightly. Okay, cool. So now for the fun slash a little bit harder aspect of this look. It's not hard, I promise you. It's not hard as long as you're like really just concentrating, focusing, it's not gonna be hard. But this is the part that is like the main Hold up. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna take So four, three, three. A concealer. Any concealer works great. Oh my, um, my favorite, personally, is the Mac Pro Longwear for the eyes because the eyes on me get kind of greasy and oily when they're not primed. They're always primed, but I'm just saying they do. And this one keeps the oils at bay a little bit as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a small, tiny, synthetic flat brush. As you can see, this brush right here is so synthetic and okay. flat. Like it's hella flat like my fucking chin. And we're gonna use this to <laughs> set out and carve out the crease. And we're gonna take literally like a drop of the Mac Pro Longwear. Really I don't have Mac for a long way, but I'm gonna use some concealer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that brush, and we're gonna start. I'm gonna actually kind of pull my eye taut a little bit. I thought you're not supposed eye. to pull your eye, you know? And deposit the concealer right on our lid, just as a guide. Okay, so I did it on my lid, but because I have more hooded lids, I'm gonna go a little bit higher than that. And I'm not doing some crazy, like, one stroker, like, no. And we're gonna go ahead and cut out. We're just gonna start carving out the crease and spreading that concealer wherever you want it to be. I like mine to be seen when my eyes are open, so I'm gonna go a little bit higher than this, and I'm going in very slow baby strokes. So basically, half our eye is a cut crease, and it's starting to feign out here, which is totally fine. Fill in the rest of the eye lid about two thirds of the way in with the concealer. I'm just gonna lightly pat the concealer so I can take some of it off of my finger. So now I'm gonna grab a packing brush. I'm gonna take the shade Tempura, which is a very nice matte white shade. I'm gonna go Wait! With the concealer to avoid creasing. Oh my god! I even then cut it a crease. I need to concentrate. <sighs> Let me get a mirror. I gotta concentrate here. I think he said two thirds of the way in. But whatever. Fuck it. We're just gonna wing it at this point. Alright. Well, this side looks horrible. Alright. BAM! BOOM! That looks fine. Tempura, tempura. Come on, grab a brush. I'm gonna use the Anastasia brush that came in the palette. As you can see, there's like a harsh line. There's like the darkness and there's the lightness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually change that. I'm gonna grab another kind of brush. Whatever brush you wanna use is fine. Any of the previous brushes is great as well, but I'm gonna take this Morphe E17. And I'm gonna grab the shade Burnt Orange, Red Ochre. Wait, wait. Sienna, oh my God, orange. too much, too much. Hold on. I haven't even put them pour down. Now I want sushi. Damn you, Manny. Hold on. Tempura. 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 Manny. Okay, last thing I heard was like 15 shades. Hold on. Hold that thought. I'm coming. Alright. Go back a little bit because I don't know. 
I don't know what he said. Actually change that. I'm gonna grab another kind of brush. Whatever brush you want to use is fine. Any of the previous brushes is great as well, but I'm gonna take this Morphe E17. And I'm gonna grab the shade Burnt Orange, Red Ochre, Raw Sienna, just any color. Burnt Orange, is Red totally Ochre. Fine, which this is gonna be the blend between and the something Raw Sienna. And the white. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm literally just gonna press over the concealer. As you can see, it's already starting to blend in like seamlessly. It's pretty cool. Back and forth, right up to that line and blend out that line up here a little bit more. As I was saying, this does not have to be super, super neat. It does not have to be super intense. Literally, this is just like an easy fade. Think of it as like a fade. Okay. Like a hair fade. Burnt orange. Fade, like when you're drunk and you're about to pass out fade like that. Oh so my god. Red ochre. This fade. Ross, yeah. It's really but, clean. It's very pretty. I'm going to do it on this side too. I'm going to push the other eye off of the camera real quick and I'll be right back. No! This is your eye look. This is what you should have right now. Half cut crease or two thirds cut crease. I don't even know what I would call this look actually. This is a fucking look, man. This is a fucking this look. This is a now fucking I'm going to look. Lash line. This part, so easy. Hold I'm gonna up. Take the shades. Let's see. Burnt orange. Shades. And I'm going to run that underneath the lash line. Very just literally. Burnt orange and raw sienna. This part, you don't need to be neat with. You're just going to run it. Underneath the eye. Now let's take a little bit of that red ochre and Venetian red, and we're gonna go a little bit higher with that one. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Yes, bitch. Burn. 43 and red a little ochre. bit of cypress um. umber, and that's gonna go closest to the lashes on the outer corner only. I'm just gonna pack it on there. Now you can take any cream or white eyeliner. I'm gonna take the ColourPop white eyeliner. Oh, my shit is so broken. I'm okay, unfortunately, I don't own. Put that in the waterline. Uh, a little bit of pop. Look at that shit. Come on. And uh, now you're going to go and do white. a little bit of a wing liner. I'm gonna eyeliner. I'm going to tattoo trooper eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. So that's like, not going to happen all, today. And it's so good at getting a really, really nice, precise line. I'm going to just do black because that's what I do. So let's finish this up. Hold on. Man, it's too fast for me. Okay, red ochre and cypress so umber. I'm gonna put that and put it on the other. Fuck. No! Save. Clean it up a little bit because you got a mess. Probably made it worse. <sighs> Wait. No white eyeliner. Why do we do? But big jumbo milk pencil, small little. This is not gonna happen. Um, you know what? What we're gonna do? Maybe I can dig in here and get some of that. Girl, look at that. I'm digging in there. I can't sharpen it right now. And we're gonna take that into. Bam! How you like that? We innovative on this channel. We make it work. Boom, that white in there. Now we need some eyeliner. I'm gonna do a light handed strokes, light handed strokes. A little wing. And connect. And then fill in from there. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. This is how everything turned out to be. Also, on my Instagram post, I did put a little bit of gold glitter underneath my lash line right now, which we will do right now. If you guys want me to, 
I'm going to take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade of Midnight Cowboy. This is my favorite shade that Urban Decay does. It's just such a good, easy glitter to use. It's honestly the best. So we're just going to put a little bit in the inner part of my eye. Just add a little bit of sparkle. And this is the final look, guys. This is what it turned out to be. <laughs> Hold that thought. We almost there. We almost to the final look. We can make it. Hold on. Oh, oh, why do I hold the mirror in front? I always do that. Block it, block it. Okay. Boom. Gold glitter, we have that. Gold glitter, we have that. Where did he put it? Manny, where did you put it? The best. So we're just okay. a little bit in the inner part of my eye. Just add a little bit of sparkle. And this is the final look, guys. This is what it turned out to be. <laughs> And that is it, you guys. That's it for the entire cut crease look, two-thirds of the away cut crease. I don't know what the bug I'm going to call this. Hopefully, you guys thought it was easy as well to follow along. I didn't want to make it too hard. I really want to... Wait, Manny, did we skip mascara? Because, you know, I can't be leaving my eyelashes looking like a hot mess. So, we're just going to throw on some mascara. And then, we're going to finish this look. We got that gold in there. Mm-hmm. Boom! Finished look! Oh, Manny! We did that! Because I wanted to make it very like, this is how to do it. Don't worry, you can do it too. That's the only thing I don't a bit more, like, wear lashes, and but. And the tutorial part, because I really wanted to explain the process of what I was Ooh. doing. I'm not saying that this is. We a forgot the lip! At all. I just wanted no. to really explain it. Oh! Gotta do it again! Come on, keep going! The closest thing to me. Looks like a nude, right? Boom! Oh. Yes, honey! Manny, we did it! Much as I could, and I hope I did. Okay, for you guys to explain it, I hope you guys can be created if you guys want to. Everything I talked about in today's video will be linked below. All the brushes, the palette, everything will be linked down below, as they always are in my descriptions. My descriptions are always pretty fucking good. I'm wearing a hat because I'm still in post-op surgery mode. I'll be wearing a hat for a I don't have a hat. 
or at least a couple months. So just letting you guys know. Or I can go buy some wigs. We'll see. Could probably use some surgery, know, we'll but see. but that's for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. So we're going with the Ar the Arnold. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a fucking while. The lucky pencil brush without a fucking hair on it. Cool. Video number one down. Video number one down. Now to film two more. 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 Hey, that could be a, a fucking hit. Now to film two more. Did I just come up with a fucking hit? Did I? And the call isn't out there at all. It's inside. Me. That's what I want right there. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're from there, motherfuckers.